<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to YouTube.com slash KazRisk here on YouTube.com slash KazRisk. I'm the KazRisk, you're the YouTube.com, and this is Fire Emblem Three Houses on the Nintendo Switch Entertainment System. Um, in our last episode, we had a crazy battle. Um, it was one of my first, like, real battles where I was really worried about losing people. I was being super strategic, you know, people are gonna criticize my strategy, my tactics in the comment section, I'm sure, and in the Discord and the Twitter, which by the way, be sure to follow me on Twitter and be sure to join the Discord. Um, but we made it through, had a good time, and then we saw that that wasn't even really like a real battle. It was like, um, it's just like a baby battle that we could do to gain some experience. And so, behind the scenes, between that Let's Play and this Let's Play, I then did a couple more of those little regular battles. Um, ultimately leading up to one that took up my activity point for that day, which led to now, um, whatever day it is in the game, that now allows me to go ahead and do my next week of lectures. So, for those of you that don't know the kind of rigmarole of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I'm a professor to this group of students, and through these instructions and group tasks and goals and all of that, we refine our skills, build our support with each other to then go out on the battlefield. This is all leading up to a battle at the end of the month where we're gonna go and do some cleanup for this guy who's rebel like this guy is rebelling against the church that we're a part of. He's been rebelling. People are out there dealing hit with him right now, but we're gonna go and we're gonna be kind of the final wave to see how that rebellion's going. Um, and so I'm trying to get everyone trained up. And we actually got a lot of people trained up um, to some pretty high level. Like Casper, for those of you that don't know, he's one of my students. They were like level one um, in Lineheart. We got leveled up, gave him some new abilities, things like that. So uh, when we go through some of my instruction here, you can now see Edelgard's level eight. Hubert now is level seven, actually, has been doing really good. Ferdinand got up to level eight. Um, Lineheart now is level five. They've been really hard to level up because they're mostly just a healer. I've been trying to give them some combat experience. Um, Kaspar is now level six. Uh, Bernadetta is actually level 6 and has been really impressive on the battlefield with a lance and with the bow and arrow. As you can see, they have a D plus there um, with the bow and arrow. Dorothea is level 10, has been just continuously rocking it. Petra is level 10. Um, and I myself, I believe, am level 11. So, looks like most people are kind of drained out on motivation, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I, don't, I think it's because with our last day off, I didn't really go around inspiring people much we kind of use it for training we've just really been training hardcore to kind of get people leveled up um for the past few days uh, my dog's hanging out oh my dog just ran off he came in here to sniff my feet and then he just sprinted away i was gonna see if he needed anything um so i think the only people that we can really teach like yeah the motivation isn't high enough so i think we're just going to do ferdinand here um uh, which ferdinand's actually been rocking and rolling with uh i actually think they've been using the lance for the most part and it's what they're kind of skilled in the most um, let's go ahead and bump up their axe ability, because I think if we use their motivation to bump up their, um, axe skill, then maybe we Never can get that leveled up. Yeah, don't underestimate the noble. Now they're D-plus with that thing. Perfect. And they got some new, uh, new abilities. Awesome. They're enlightened. They feel great. We'll give them some praise, which will increase their motivation, which then gives us the ability to increase one more thing, which will invest that over. Actually, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna get them leveled up with the authority there, which then will allow them to lead their battalion. I also, in between the last episode, gave everyone a battalion, which has been really resourceful on the battlefield. Battalions are kind of little support groups that then you can use to do these special gambit moves. It's, it's a whole thing. There's a lot of bells and whistles with this whole game that even I'm not completely up to date on, completely savvy with, um, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, but yeah. So, Lionheart here is trying to become a bishop of sorts. We've kind of been using them on the field to be our healer. And so, I'm actually going to keep pouring in and investing into their faith, since that seems to be kind of what they want to be learning. Um, so, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do back-to-back -back faith. And it seems like it'll be good to me. Road to mastery. Yeah, and just keep, just keep, keep that getting mastered, for sure. Um, bummer that we didn't get any opportunity there to... Uh, to have them get a perfect score. So I actually think we have two activity points now and we don't have enough, uh, there are no units available to to use that on. So for this is one of the first times we have enough activity points, as you can see at the top of the screen, that number two up there, we have enough activity points to actually continue to invest in some people, but we just don't have the time to do so. And I don't think, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with them on Skywatch there. Um and see where that goes. And, and everyone's goals is good to go. We'll just begin the lecture, and it's kind of a bummer we can't use that. Um, oh, wait. Uh, Dorothea, one of the most nobles seem to think magic is their birthright and that commoners lack the talent for it. Help me master reason and train as a warlock to prove them wrong. Um, so they currently are focusing on sword and reason, but they want to focus um, exclusively on the reason skill to excel as a warlock. Dorothea actually on the battlefield has been using tons of magic. Um, and hasn't really been using any melee abilities. I think I'm going to go ahead and support her goal there to be a warlock. Absolutely. They're currently a monk. So, I think that could be really nice. Dorothea the Warlock. Sounds pretty legit if you ask me. Any Destiny fans out there? I love Warlocks and Destiny. I don't play as them, but they're always I super cool to study the lore. Uh, oh. Not achieve a good result. They've actually had a couple good weeks. This is their first time they're reporting me with Sara once again. Worry not, Petra. At least we completed our task. Nah. Yeah, they did good. All right. I've just kind of been having them go to town on the Skywatch there because I want I want Petra to be on a Pegasus one day. This sounds freaking incredible to have them flying the around on the map. Has much to teach. Ooh, wow, Battalion Wrath. Yeah, Hubert with his battalion has been doing some pretty insane things. He brought down fire on a group of people one day, Let's and it was absolutely incredible. Um, it looks like Caspar oh, there is, is having a good day. Happened. Everyone else is learning new abilities. Everyone's having a great time there. Super legit, super hype. Everyone's really kind of coming into their own learning their new abilities, diversifying their classes, things like that. I think we're gonna kind of have ourselves set up for a pretty cool battle coming up here. But now we have another free day. You have allies that um, who can take intermediate courses. Uh, yeah, we actually haven't had a time really to do this certification since you guys last saw me. So now this is a good recap to see where everyone's at. Um, as you can see, I can now go to an inter intermediate and almost everyone else is available um, to get certifications done. So let's actually just go ahead and rock on into it. I have the option to be a mercenary, um, which will, uh, strong and speedy, the mercenary gets the job done. They'll use, I'll use my sword skill a lot and look pretty cool while using it. I got a little fanny pack on my butt there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Um, or alternatively, I can be a thief, um, also using the sword. Skill that opening locks, the thief has excellent speed and dexterity. Um, honestly, I feel like I'm more, I'm more of the mercenary type. Now, I could develop some skills with heavy armor and become a knight. Nope, that doesn't look like something I'd want to do. Um, if I develop skills with riding, I could get myself um, a horse, which would be pretty dope. I mean, a dog. Oh, whoops. You guys saw that I'm actually... <laughs> I've been messing with you. How many comments down below have even, I, have even talked about me calling them dogs? I, I just, it actually came to my head just one of these days, and I just kind of kept going with it. Um, lame. Archer, I'm not really much of uh, archery. The brawler ability has been pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at me freaking go just shirtless there. Mage isn't really something I'd want to do. So I actually think um, riding this dog here would be pretty legit, but I think mercenary is going to be the best fit for me, and I'd like to go ahead and get my my class up. So let's go ahead and pass the certification exam here. I believe it was 100% chance of passing, um, which then, once again, this kind of plays into the whole school trope they got going and allows me to get my class leveled up here. Yeah, nice. Legit. A new path to tread. New path to tread. I always like these pictures. They're just such cool animations. Um, so Hubert now can uh, is currently a noble, but I could go ahead and make them a monk, kind of like Dorothea was doing, which eventually led to them being a warlock. I think Hubert could also make for a pretty good warlock as well. Um, he's been using lots of magic. We're gonna go ahead and give them that monk certification. We'll go ahead and skip that. Perfect. Great. Fantastic. Oh, fire emblem. Yep. Sorry to cut you guys all off. We're just kind of rocking and rolling here. Now, it looks like I don't have enough... Um, looks like I don't have enough uh, seals, to uh, beginner seals or whatever they're called, to get these other people leveled up. We're going to go have to go buy those, I think. Um, Dorothea now, though, can become a mercenary or a thief. But a mage now is something that's also on their path. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them to a mage. Since they have been focusing on reason as their primary thing, I believe. So, yeah. Awesome. We'll go ahead and get them updated there with the intermediate seal. Looks great. And then, uh... I passed thanks to you, Professor. Oh, Dorothea. You did it on your own. You, you're you a rock star. Absolute, absolute mad lad. And we're going to need to get ourselves an advanced seal for uh, Petra as well. And did Edelgard, Edelgard actually is not high enough level yet to get an intermediate level up. So we need one, two, three, four 
four, uh, four beginner seals and one intermediate, I believe. So, marketplace. Actually, is that in the item shop there? Let's go ahead and see, uh, only we have like one and, oh wait. So we need, how many did we need? Four, I think is what I needed. Okay. And then I needed one intermediate. So could I sell? Do I, I thought we had some. There we go. I knew we had one of these lying around. Nice. Do we have another one? I thought we got like a large one at some point. Um, we got a couple things in the convoy though. I don't think we need this steel lance. I don't think we need the steel bow. So we'll go ahead and sell that. Petra has a lot of weapons there, but I think we're, I think we're going to be fine. Um, so let's go ahead now and we can buy that one intermediate seal for Petra to have now. Perfect. Great. Fantastic. Good little time in the marketplace, if you ask me. Now we can head back here to certifications and get everyone certified. So Petra now will become option for a mercenary or a thief. Interesting. Now, hmm, Pegasus Knight. What do I need? Oh, I need... They actually need to have a lance skill. They actually already have a pretty high flying skill. I need to actually... Crap. I actually really need to be in investing in their lance ability. Oh, crap. Um. Interesting. Is there anything that could go ahead... Gosh, I, didn't even, I, I wasn't even thinking that through. Skill to opening locks, excellent speed and dexterity. Should I also make them a mercenary for the time being? And then eventually have them maybe upgrade to a Pegasus? What eventually could they become? Eventually they get onto, in the advanced class, I know they, they're not quite there yet, but eventually I'd like to have them be, eventually they're gonna need an ax. Does this not have the equivalent of like a Pegasus thing? Oh, so then they become a paladin of sorts. That's not flying, that's riding. So fly, so interesting that there's not something in the advanced class that's the equivalent of like an advanced Pegasus rider. You know what I'm saying? Because I want them to become a Pegasus knight, which is flying in lance, but then it seems like I'm not gonna want them to abandon their fl their ax training because once they, once they Kind of continue to perfect their flying. I don't know. Petra flying this freaking dragon here is 100% awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want. Because I don't know if the pair-up ability eventually comes. But I always like my S support side character to kind of fly me around. It's always pretty dope to have that. Um, hmm. 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 And she could make a good warrior, too. I don't know. Warrior looks pretty dope. Look at that freaking thing. She just, you know. Oh, my gosh. Paladin, Paladin riding the horse, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know where I want them to eventually lead, like, you know, lead themselves. But I feel like I need to go ahead, I feel like I need to go ahead and get them, even if it costs, uh, even if it costs an intermediate seal, I think I need to go ahead and use it to get themselves, get them already kind of upped with their class here. It's just quite a bummer that Pegasus riding, you need that lance skill up and running. So, huh. Ha 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 ha. Now maybe, because Lance is just a good one to have, because Lance allows them to be both an, uh, the Cavalier or the Pegasus Knight. Armored Knight, yeah, I don't want them to be an Armored Knight. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them a, uh, but should they be a thief and then I'm the mercenary since we're always traveling together? I don't know, the thief costume's pretty freaking dope on them. Skill that opening locks, the thief has excellent speed and dexterity. They also use the sword, too. Hmm. I'm gonna give them thief. I'm gonna give Petra thief and just see how that chemistry works with me as the mercenary. Yeah, super legit. Super legit. I have success. There we go. Perfect. Fantastic. Um, now, Ferdinand, what do you want to be? You want to be a soldier or a fighter? Um... We already had, I was already, already the Myrmidon, and then we had a couple soldiers, I think. I don't know, you actually could be skilled with the lance, the soldier has high degree of accuracy and precision. He's actually been using the lance quite a bit, it's kind of what I associate with him. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him soldier. I just think, I just think in my head, Ferdinand, uh, lance, like, it's just, it's just the way it is. 
Um, Linhart now is perfect for a monk. They've been healing almost everyone on the battlefield. And then, uh... Bypass. Yep. Nice, great, fantastic. Kaspar has been... He's actually been using his bow a lot. Um... And, yeah, he's been using his bow a lot for the most part. And then maybe doing a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Brawling and using his bow seems pretty good for a little fighter. Kaspar the fighter. I can get behind that. And oh, then... Yeah. Nailed it. Yep, sure. And then, uh, last but not least, Bernadetta has also been a little fighter with the bow. Look at her. Look at her and her little... Yeah, look at her and her little, uh... <laughs> cute in her little um little fighter gear yeah her and casper i kind of think of like on the same level a little bit they kind of in my eyes they're kind of the same size little scrawny kids kind of i don't know casper's kind of all arrogant but small and she's all timid but small um i think they're gonna be a couple good little fighters on the battlefield which then we have um hubert and dorothea the monks and mages um edelgard is then looks like a fighter we got a couple fighters on the field and then Petra and myself as the knight and the thief for the intermediate classes. I think that's a pretty good setup if you ask me. Now, we need to get everyone's motivation up if we can. Because um, everyone's pretty much down in the dumps. What does resting do? Spend the re last day resting. The motivation of your allies will increase. Yeah, I think that's actually not a bad idea. Because we've actually explored quite a bit. We've done the seminars. We've done some trainings. We've done our battles. We've gotten all that. I think we just need to rest. Select rest to give your house a break. This will increase your students' motivation, among other things. Yeah, because we have the big battle tomorrow. So I think that's what we need to do. Resting will increase your motivation. Would you like to proceed? Sure. Your allies are invigorated and recharged. Perfect. Which then leads to the big battle of the Let's Play. We're all trained up. We're all classed up. We're all ready to go. We have our mission. I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a great time. Our house must keep or must help the knights of Saros suppress Lord Lenato's rebellion at Castle Gaspard, um, Cas Casper or Castle Gaspard, whatever the freaking crap it's called. Though you are told not to expect to combat the deep fog at Ma Magdred, way sets you um, ill at ease. Now wait, real quick then, if we got a couple, uh, if they're saying that um, there's freaking fog. A blazing flame that increases visibility in heavy fog. Let's go ahead and buy one of these. Nice. And let's buy it. Let, I guess I have it now, which is good. Let's go ahead and get myself a, a torch there for that fog. I think that's going to be a good good call. A good call indeed. Nice. Mutiny in the Mist. Now, that's actually a concerning, that's a concerning title for this chapter because we're going into the fog. We're going into the mist. And a mutiny, for those of you that don't know, I actually learned it from Spongebob when I was way little. I think Mr. Krabs was like, I got the mutiny on my hands. And I was like, Dad, what's mutiny? And he said it's when people, it's like when the crew turns against their captain. You know what I'm saying? It's when the, the, the lesser people turn against their leader. And I'm the leader of my class. I'm a little nervous that we have a mutiny on our hands. And as you can see, we are nine, hour, nine and a half hours in. At the end of the last Let's Play, we were eight hours in. I've been playing for quite a bit of time. About an hour and a half I played off stream. Which, guys, you wouldn't even miss out on any content. It was just literally me battling, training. I was watching the Vikings. Watching the Minnesota Vikings play against the Raiders. To give you a little how powerful dating for how old be. this episode There's is. no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine. The mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. Oh, Thunderbrand. Ooh, yeah, everyone's getting all hot and heavy for Catherine here. Not to not to detract. Catherine is a freaking rock star. Just look at her. She's like looks like she's ready to freaking murder some people. Uh, Thunderbrand. What is Thunderbrand? Tell me about it. You mean you don't know? Oh, my what? weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. I have heard of her relic. Yep, people have been talking about that thing left and right. It looks like I mean that looks like it would really incredibly hurt to have stab you like all the little things that would just kind of tear apart your flesh a long long time ago the galaxy the far, far away. bestowed divine weapons upon 10 heroes 10 which were passed down to their descendants so you got like one of the 10 swords holy crap it's an honor to wield but yeah i'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today our mission is to help clean up the aftermath not to fight i have a i have like a really cherished collectible steel book for a movie that i'm like always terrified of losing 
I can only imagine having one of the ten swords in all of history that is, like, blessed by the gods themselves. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. Yeah, Hubert, that's been on our mind. For those of you that missed the previous episodes, we've been wondering what's up with Lord Lenato because they're a man of uh, prestige, they're a noble, they, it doesn't seem in character for them to rebel against the church. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. Oh, wait, some context? Wait, exposition? Whoa. I don't know much about what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. Oh, wait, what? I believe that about sums it up, correct? Wait, what? Okay, wait, what? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Oh, gosh, whoa, so they murdered the king, the Dusker people. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them. Ooh. And so he was handed over to the church for execution. Well, no wonder he hates the church then, YouTube. The church executes criminals? Yeah, that doesn't seem very churchly. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply pass judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. I don't think that's our place, Catherine! Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, duh, you murdered his son, you jackknob Johnson! Well... To be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Is that you? You seem to be carrying a heavy amount of guilt and burden there. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. You said there were going to be enemies here, soldier. The numbers are far greater than we predicted. Duh! They use the fog to slip past the knight's perimeter. Did I not warn it's literally everybody that we're going to see resistance here? It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. I was predicted. Everyone, I, prepare I, for battle! I prepared for this. Predicted for this. I was predicted for this. I trained everyone. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're ready for this battle. I, th th there wouldn't be a giant sword next to this task if it, if it hadn't been for a battle coming. Yeah. Thank you I very much. How do I get my chair up? My chair's like not sticking up. It's just it's because my freaking Thanks fat so body is just constantly pushing this thing down. Um Alrighty, online I'm grateful. Online statistics say that everyone's giving gifts to Marianne. What's so special about Marianne? Gratitude. And Bernadette's number Bernadette is number two. What is going on with Bernadette? Okay, alright. Well, any any support conversations we can have? No, no one wants to talk to each other. That's freaking lame. Um, ba 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 booey, ba ba booey, ba ba booey. Now let's. Uh, I think everyone's inventory is good because we just came from getting everyone leveled up. We had everyone ready, ready and rocking to go. Um, I think everyone's equipment's pretty rare and to go. I say we just go ahead and give this a, a save to make sure we're ready to go at the start of the battle. Let's double check the map and make sure. Um... Oh, interesting. We can't see anything in the fog. Holy crap! This is going to be a very, very scary battle. Um, we got some soldiers on our side now. Um, Petra's right by my side. Anyone else I want by my side? Who do, who do we got leading the vanguard here? Let's get Dorothea up in the front lines as well. This isn't really a time to dilly-dally. We'll train the lessers in other battles. But I got Bernadetta and Caspar with their nice little cute bow and arrows in the back lines. Um, we have Raphael kind of recruited into our team, but he actually can't be leveled up. He can't gain any experience because he's not from our house. Um, I've been told that maybe one day we could possibly recruit him, but right now we don't really have that um, as a part of our thing. Uh, Linehart there, Linhart, whatever your name is, I don't really care. You're kind of off to the side to get ready to heal us. Hubert's actually pretty strong. Having them in the middle lines here is a pretty good strategy. And then Ferdinand off to the side there, ready to kind of lead the, the back charge there. I would say that's a pretty good battle lines, ready to go. Let's begin the battle. Defeat the enemy commander. So we don't need to kill everyone, we just need to kill the commander. We'll target them specifically, go after them, and be ready to go. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. Yeah, that's it's actually incredibly intimidating. Oh, well, there's one. Found him. The enemy em. could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Okay. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through. Right on, Catherine, I'm right behind you. Yeah! Yeah! Get freaking jacked, That's chat. Normal. It's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Oh yeah, someone's someone's pooping blood out there in the in the freaking fog. Caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on battlefields with a thick fog, your units will only be able to see enemies that are close by. Proceed with caution. A unit's movements will be cut short if it is interrupted by an enemy. 
You can reward you can earn a reward if your allies do not suffer heavy losses. Be careful to not let your allies flee. Alrighty then. Now it looks like so this is the only guy we have to worry about, right? And I can't control them. Okay, well, Stay everyone. Focused. I'm gonna back up Catherine right here. Petra. If you can follow closely behind, Dorothea, right on my butt here. Thank you. Alright, Hubert. I'm gonna have you get up here too. I will prevail. Edelgard, you get right up here by the side. We're gonna see if we can. Put me in there. I got this. It'd be nice if we could get some backup over to Edelgard. She doesn't really have anyone paired up with her, but we'll be good to go. Um, Linhart, you'll be ready to heal everyone here. We got people on the, the back line here. Raphael. You get moved up. Caspar. And then Ferdinand. We'll see how close we can get you up there. Perfect. Everyone, move forward! Go, go, go! Nice. Soldiers fighting each other. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. She's freaking just going out here with her. What is it? Thunderbrand? Is that what it is? Whew. Okay. Now I have I have my little torch. Is that even working right now? I'll lead the way, soldiers. We'll follow the road here. Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll follow the road. Seems like a good strategy. I don't see anyone. So Edelgard, you all right, now here. So Petra, you stick close to me. Dorothea, you stay close by as well. Edelgard, I, 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 I feel a little bit nervous sending you out. You are a little bit actually weaker than some of the rest of us. Ferdinand, you protect her. Hubert, you get ready to bring down the, those uh, fire spells right here. Um, Raphael, you're kind of a beefy little lad. You can lead the way. Casper will be right behind you. Bernadetta will also be right behind you. And then Linhart will be ready to heal anyone who could possibly need it. Wait, we can go ahead and actually offer some assistance to this little soldier over here. Thank you. Yeah, get him a little leveled up. Get his skills up. Nice. How long will this take? Yeah, his faith is just getting boosted. We thumbing, YouTube. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? No, I, I never expected that. That was never an expectation of mine. I don't think did, any, did anyone else think that we were just gonna let assume they did nothing. We we. We're fully prepared for resistance. It was a very strong expectation for you guys. Um, all right, now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have Hubert go right up here and uh, kill this guy. Yep. Took a little arrow to the chest. No big deal. Kills him. I told you guys Hubert was strong. Yeah, he's a tough little monk. He's got that magic out the wazoo. Oh, my gosh. Yep. And now I'm actually gonna have Edelgard go over here and snag this little thing here that gives her some experience. And uh, they got their endurance replenished as well. Looks like no one's over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and have, um... actually, you know what? We're gonna split up here a little bit. We're gonna split up. So I'm gonna stick with Edelgard and I'm gonna have Petra follow as well. But uh, we're actually gonna have a few people stick down here with um, Catherine. So. Ferdinand, you go down with Catherine. Um, hmm. Dorothea, you stay down here with Catherine as well. Bernadetta will go down with Catherine. Raphael will stick up here with us. And Casper will stick up here with us. Linhart, you stay here in the middle. And... Uh, Heal whoever needs it. See, just be ready to go. Be ready to freaking charge in there whoever needs healed. Perfect. Keep everyone on their toes. Oh, but people coming from the fog. Oh, but it just misses. Just dodges. Nice. Legit. Legit. Just They, they tried to come out from the fog. They couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but we got we had the counterattack there. We got 27 damage in. And we leveled up. Can I get a yeet in the YouTube comment section, please? Thank you. Okay. They're gonna take out our soldiers. They can't do it. I really think this battle is gonna be ours to win. Yep, we're dodging their arrows. We're doing good. The class mastery is going up, and we're now we're also learning everyone in the fog. Ooh, but they got people coming in with these arrow volleys coming in, trying to take out our healer. Well, to make sure they stay protected. Catherine, though, somehow missing with that sword twice, but then dodging an attack and then missing again and then missing again. That fog, the woods, the forest, everything about it just is not. 
is not uh, helping them that much. Everyone's missing their attacks in these in these woods. Just too foggy for me, I tell you what. Alrighty. Now, no, 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 no. Let's actually go ahead and we're gonna have uh we're gonna have we're gonna we're, we're, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? I want Hmm. Hmm. So I want to keep building my support with Petra here. Because Petra's the one I'm kind of eyeballing as my S support class. Or S support level, whatever you want to freaking call it. So let's have... Uh, hmm. Can I attack from a distance here? No. So I think the best way to get... Hmm. Our best way to go about this would be to have... Gosh, Gorsh! What what's the little way to play uh, musical chairs here to get Petra and I attacking together? You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> Let's go ahead actually and have uh, I want to get I want to get Casper some experience here. So let's actually have him go up. And from a distance, we don't want him getting too close. We're going to have him attack with his little bow. We're going to have him finish off this guy here. Yep, do 13 damage guaranteed. That's going to go ahead and shoot him up to level 7, which is perfect. Because I actually don't really need that much more experience. Casper is the one that's going to be needing it the most. Some of these little younglings on our battlefield. Lord Lenato, please don't die. Oh, man, kind of sad that they're, like, dying. I'm sorry, but I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. Oh, man, yeah, this, these are some... This is a horrible situation. You know, Lord Lenato's just trying to avenge his son. We're coming in here and we're killing these people that just are, they just trust their Lord. They trust their commander. It's a very tough situation. I don't envy, um, I don't envy anyone in this position. All right, now, actually, wait, what did we want her? She doesn't even have, she doesn't even own a lance to use. We wanted her to get her lance skills up. Kind of a bummer that she doesn't really have anything on hand um, to do. To, to use that with um, but her iron gauntlets can go in here and she can just freaking punch this guy in the freaking skull kill him with one blow which is then going to build up her support um, with uh, myself which is pretty hype pretty freaking legit and then uh, let's go ahead and have Edelgard come over here and she can also take out this guy with her steel axe easy peasy lemon squeezy squeeze my lemons call me Yeezy and then this little jackknob right here is still alive, so we can have um, Bernadetta come in with her little bow, and she can take him out, which also will hopefully help her level up. Yeah, she's super close to level seven there. And then who else is still lingering around here? This little guy right here. Um, and Linhart actually could use uh, an opportunity to attack. So he actually has um, his little magical wind spell that he could use. So let's have him use wind. Actually, yeah, wind would still be his best bet. Nice. Give him some experience as well. He's almost to level six, which is pretty legit. He doesn't really have much of an opportunity to even get leveled up, which then can allow Ferdinand to come in here and finish the job and help them get leveled up as well. We're just trying to get these kind of lesser people in here, get them some good experience, because otherwise I'm usually someone that leans towards just using my main character, Kazdin, along with my S support. Um, partner, but I'm trying to be better about maybe getting some of these lesser used people into some combat here, which is kind of fun. So we'll get these guys moved up to the front lines, and then Dorothea can actually move up as well. And, oh wait, that exposed someone there. Crap, and they're going to be going after that soldier. They're really going to eat him. Um, who else is still available? Actually, Kazan is still available to come over here and uh, attack this guy with an... Uh, why does the Iron Sword... <clears throat> the Iron Sword actually is able to finish the job because I get two swings of it. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use the Iron Sword then. Lord <laughs> which even though that allows them to get a little bit of a counter hit in me, but it allowed me to finish him off with only one turn, which is, I think, pretty legit. I think I'd rather go with that. Uh, the fog is lifting as a result of the Dark Mage being defeated. It seems the fog was being caused by magic. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm glad we got them killed. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got ourselves a little cutscene. That's all we had. All we had to do was kill the was kill them. 
Oh, whoa, does he, ha does he have a hero relic as well? Is this Lord Lenata? Oh no, this is Catherine. Oh my freaking gosh, Catherine. She's just coming in and not sparing anyone. Oh, dude, this guy's got the lance. He's like, I'm gonna be the hero of the war. Nope, oh my guts. They're spilling. Dude, that's a freaking legit sword. Oh, oh no. Thunder strike, Cassandra. It was your wretched zealotry that killed my son. I knew it was her. I knew it was her. <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Oh now gosh. You face a knight of Theros. You know, I'm I'm not normally someone to start laughing when someone's like, "Hey, you killed my son." Like, I don't think laughing the is the appropriate is response. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Oh, so he thinks that he is the one defending the judgment of the goddess. Interesting. A little turn of perspective there. I'm not going to lie. I still think that this is the complete wrong call, but what can I do? I don't have the ability to say, hey, let's not fight. If I had the option, I would say, let's not fight. Okay, well, now we have the fog clifted, or clifted? I'm not able to speak today. Now we have the fog um, lifted or cleared, which leads to the word clifted. Um, now that the fog's lifted, though, we can kind of start marking these people, get an idea of who's coming to attack us, which then will allow us to actually have a pretty good way to combat everyone. Now, if I have Caspar go over here, he's going to get double attacked, but potentially, yep, he could go ahead and kill this guy. doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Yeah, Lord Lenato's already had a pretty rough life, though. Okay. Oh, crap! Oh, crap. Now, wait a second. They're going to attack him, and then they're going to attack him. He's actually going to be able to handle that attack pretty well. But I'm going to try something here. I'm going to rewind time and see... Uh, Put me in there. And see if, from a different angle, Casper would be better able to hit that. doesn't deserve it. Still missed and still got the 14. Is he always guaranteed a miss with that? I'm only going to rewind once for him. I'm not going to do it again. I got this. Nice. All right. Now, let us move forward here. But that, that little ability there, the Dragon Pulse, was kind of cool. I was able to rewind time and try a different time. It's see, every time I've done it, though, like after I've missed an attack, they've missed that attack again. I don't know if it's like a locked-in fate and they'll just always do that. Like, if you have to shake it up a lot, I'm not too sure. Maybe I should have tried a different move. I'm not too sure what the best strategy would have been there. Prevail. Now, if she moves over here, she's going to get attacked from three people. But if I attack from right here, I'm not going to get attacked by anyone. So let's go ahead and have her only move up here. Knock this guy out. Nice. Glad she didn't miss. Yeah, and I need to get Edelgard kind of up in the front. If I can actually get her up one more level, she can get an immediate, uh, an intermediate class upgrade, which would be pretty legit. Now, I'm actually, we really need to get people up to the top left here because all we need to do is kill Lord Lenato. So I'm actually going to go ahead and have Kazdan, since he's level 11. I'm going to have him go straight up to the front lines. I'm going to have uh, Petra follow right behind. And she can take that guy on one-on-one, -on -one, so she's going to go ahead and wait there. Um, That's my cue. I think actually, for the most part, I'm going to try to have everyone just go ahead and charge up there. Um... She's gonna go through the woods here. As you wish. Hubert's gonna go through the woods. Can he actually can he actually go any farther? Just have everyone press left, I left, I say. He won't distract anything. Oh no. Um have her in the back supporting there. <laughs> Battle. And then uh have him give some assistance actually to this guy of the church, because we get bonus points oh, if we keep the soldiers alive and they don't flee. And then actually that got him leveled up, so that's pretty legit too. Good battle, good battle so far. And then Ferdinand, you can actually go ahead. How far can you go? Yeah, Ferdinand, I actually think that you're gonna be able to handle this like a boss. You go ahead and go to the front lines there, bud. Now Casper over here is dodging attacks and doing great. I think they can handle both those soldiers over there. I'm not too worried about Casper. He's got trained up quite a bit. Oh, the Petra with a critical hit coming in. 30 damage. Look at her do the little high kick there. She's just ready to go. She's a freaking boss. Petra is amazing. I love Petra. Love him. Ferdinand's handling the attack quite well. Handling it like a champ. Very proud of him. And actually, that guy didn't even go for Casper. He's trying to chase us down. Probably trying to protect his Lord Lenato. 
Okay. Soldiers doing their move. We actually have things pretty much covered. Now, Casper, you go ahead and finish this guy off here with your iron bow. Don't miss this time. Thank you. You continue to just clean up the people in the background. I like it. And me and Petra, we're going to continue to move up to tra try to face down Lord Lenato here. Um... Interesting, interesting. I'm actually going to have uh, Edelgard wait right here. She got herself a rusted sword. Super hype, super legit. And actually, from way back here, Hubert can take that guy out. I told you his magic was incredible. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's simply beautiful. And then um, that'll give it, uh, Raphael a chance there to go up there and grab that little item. Uh, oh, no, he can't collect it because he's not... A part of our house. Okay, that sucks that he's just standing on that then. Freaking fatty. And then Bernadetta can come up here. And then that gives... Man, these guys are like all stuck in the woods. Get out of the woods. There you go. Casper, you can handle it. He's such an agile little guy, man. He's just dodging every attack that comes his way. Holy crap. So proud of him. So proud of how far he's come. Remember the last episode where he was just getting freaking yeeted across the entire map? All right, now, here's where it gets scary, because these guys are not budging from pre protecting Lord Lenato. So this is where we start seeing what their reach is specifically, and we kind of start, um, we kind of start holding our ground here. I'm going to have Petra go in, and she actually has her bow. She can take out either of these guys. I don't think it really completely matters. Um, he's got a bow, and yeah, th th I don't, I'm not too sure if it, if it really matters who to attack. I'm going to go ahead and go with this guy. Nice. Nice. Which then gives me the opportunity to come in here and protect her, stand right by her side. Um, now... Okay, so she can go up there. And now can Hubert... Dang, I thought maybe his magic would be able to reach pretty far, but I guess not. Just everyone move on up. Now, once again, Ferdinand, I'm going to have you go over here and try to take that guy out over there to the far west. Um, you and uh, Lionheart here, Linhart, Lionel Richie, can work on that. Maybe get some experience over there. Dorothea will cover the mid-ground. Bernadetta will also continue to cover in the background to do any bow and arrow attacks. And then Casper over here can start moving in as well, do a little switcheroo. And while he's at it, go ahead and fire off his arrows. Or I know he's using his axe to take out this guy who was going to try to flank us or something. I don't even know what this guy was doing over the woods. He missed the memo in the fog. It's time. Wait, whoa. Oh, they're doing a full assault against Hubert. Oh, my gosh. Dang, that was freaking terrifying. He, Hubert doesn't really have the armor to handle such an attack. And these guys are using their full battalions. They're bringing out the whole thing. But look at that. They missed him. I just kind of crouched and was good to go. <laughs> now, Ferdinand, you go over here, and you go ahead and wait up there, bud. Don't worry. I'm going to send you some backup. Lionel Richie will be there in a second to help you out. Now, Kaz. Actually, wait. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. I'm going to have Kaz and Petra continue to completely rock the battlefield here. So... Petra's going to move in with their bow and take out this guy. Nice. Yeah, because she just continues to be 100% completely OP. We've not struggled with this fight at all. I think I trained a little too hard before this battle. I think I got a little bit too prepared. Uh, send it to the convoy. I don't freaking care. All right, which then allows Edelgard to come over here and just go ahead and take out this guy. And now we can all move in on Lord Lenato. There's no way he's going to be able to escape from there. Yep. Still unstoppable. Oh, wait, is he not able to move? Oh, yeah, because he got freaking stunned in that last attack there. All right, well then. Raphael will go ahead on the other side. Oh, and can't do, like... He, Raphael doesn't, like, phase against this guy at all. Well, then, Raphael, you just go ahead. Actually, why don't you go over here and help out uh, Ferdinand with some support since you're kind of useless there. Dorothea, on the other hand, will come up. And um, with the help of Hubert here... And some fire abilities. We'll work with Hubert to burn this guy alive. 
Now he's gone. He won't be a threat to any of us anymore. Awesome. They make a good team, Hubert and Dorothea. I like them. I like them a lot. And then who else is still wandering around? Wait, is it Casper? Casper, what are you doing over here, man? Oh my gosh, you silly willy. What are you doing? Wait, who else is still... Oh, Hubert. Oh, I just have to tell him to wait. Well, why don't you actually go ahead and rally up Dorothea? I don't know what that'll do, but sure. Now this guy's gonna take out Pe try to take out Petra. Petra can't be taken out. Build some support though with Kaz. Raphael's just getting some good brawling in over here, having some fun. I'm gonna send Ferdinand in to finish off that fight to gain some experience since Raphael can't gain any experience. I don't know why Catherine and the soldiers are focusing over here. They're like too afraid to go up and fight Lord Lenato. Um, so let's go ahead and get this guy knocked out. Oh, dude, Ferdinand, dude, you can't be missing attacks like that. Now see, once again, let's try. Let's try to reverse that, because I want Ferdinand to get this kill. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Let's have him use a combat ability, though. With his steel lance. Let's have him try that. There we go. Now he gets a critical hit with that. In another life, in a parallel reality, he was able to get that kill. And that gave him some more experience, I think. It's pretty legit. It's pretty hype. It's pretty awesome. Um. Well, now the big thing is, is we want to send in Petra and Kazdin to get I this get kill. Stay focused. So let's send Kazdin in first. Um. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we'll send Kazdin in first with um. Hmm. Now, I will be able to, with my assault troop, I don't get hit at all, which is actually a pretty cool thing. And I do 11 damage out of his 35 damage, which would leave then 24 hit points available. Petra, on the other hand, with an iron bow, can't do that much. She can do a total of 8 damage, which would bring him down to 16 hit points. Then Edelgard, can Edelgard even get in there? No. Can Dorothea get in there? No, so we're going to need Kazdin to do more than just that. We're going to need Kazdin to go in there with the Iron Sword. And we're going to need him to full-on do... Um, we're going to need him to just do a normal Iron Sword attack. And get a little beat up, but that'll bring him down to 11. Which then, I believe Petra would be able to go in and... Actually, I don't know if she can with just that bow. But wait, could Petra come around this other end and with her axe, with her axe then she could do 11 damage, which would then finish him off. So we'll do that. So we'll have Kazdin go in and Kazdin will do the initial attack with his iron sword. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. I'm really sorry, dude. I think we're, I think you're gonna die today. I'm pretty confident this is the end of the line. You can't shake the vision of an ally falling in battle. Oh, I thought that was a special thing there. Okay, cool. Nice. Hi. Whatever. Um, then we'll have Edelgard come in. And kill this guy. Clear the way a little bit. Awesome. Hi. Which then gives Petra the ability to come in here. Oh, wait. Petra needs to go right here. Oh, crap. That's not going to do that. That's not going to finish the job. Wait, what if she goes behind? Guys, I thought we did the math that she was going to be able to do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. How did we miscalculate this? He's not going to be able to kill Kaz, though. Is he? And if Petra comes in... Oh, he can't. he's not budging from his spot, so he, she, he won't attack if she's over here. Okay, well, we're going to have to hope that maybe she can either get a critical hit or that he doesn't kill Kaz in this next move. Okay. Now, actually, wait. Uh, he can't move far enough to get some healing over to Kaz. Okay, the music's dramatic. I really hope that he doesn't... Let's get everyone over here to offer some support. Everyone move out. As you wish. If he gets a critical hit on Kaz, the battle's put over. We gotta desperately hope he doesn't get a critical hit, so we all need to go put the pressure on. And you go ahead and you heal someone just to get some experience up. Expected. Okay, okay. Whatever, shut up. 
Who else is still available? Who else is still out there? Oh, Raphael. Okay. Okay, cross our fingers. Wait, he healed? No other option. Uh, oh, he missed! <laughs> Dude, that's your that was your that was your fatal fatal mistake. Was missing my nimble little body. And now, now, good sir, we go in and with a steel sword of power. God. That vile woman. Christoph, forgive me. Got him. Nice. And I got to level up. Beefy. Beefy, YouTube. Super legit. I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Yeah, get well done, everyone. yeeted by Let's me. Gather our troops and go. Yep. The allies did not suffer heavy losses, so you earned a reward from the Church of Saros. I received a secret book. Oh. Neat. You cannot carry any more. Select an item to send. Well, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll send this little secret book on over. Whatever that does. I also received a goddess icon. Well, we'll also send that to the convoy. We'll sort it out later. Nice. Stage complete. The Magdred Ambush. And Petra is MVP. Duh. Always. Always MVP. In season and out of season. Mmm. And they're maxed out of motivation, probably because we also rested too. Super hype, super legit. Well, that's a great battle. And let's see what happens. Let's see if we get our cutscene. We'll end out that let's play. Um, we'll save. Nice. Yeah, it was super easy. I think we, I think we did a lot of training before this battle to kind of make that a pretty smooth sailing trip. It's also pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Casper, you know, innocent citizens to risk their lives. That man was not a noble, but a monster. Hmm. Some conflicting points of view here. Casper feeling very depressed that people were so heartbroken and that it had to come to this. But Ferdinand just being mad that Lord Lenato even brought it to this. That he was a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? Hubert trying to look at things with reason. I appreciate Hubert. Mm -hmm. Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. For sure. I bet. There's no use dwelling on it. The, this is that is the reality of battle. Yeah, we got. It's important that the students learn that this is the way war is, and we shouldn't be glorifying it. It's actually pretty freaking brutal. Mm -hmm. It's if tough. If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. Yeah, it helps that I am just such a stoic little lad. The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believed they were fighting for a just cause. Yeah, and they really went out swinging for that guy. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Yeah, for sure. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Unfortunately, I think, I mean, I understand where you guys are all coming from. They, they were causing the rebellion. They were putting innocent people at risk and we, they, they were, they weren't going to stop with their little vision of justice. I agree with what you're saying, Edelgard. We had to, we had to put them down, but it's just unfortunate that I even had to come to that. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. Yeah. Um, I don't Okay, wait, what? Uh, even if our enemies are the gods themselves. Okay, now, now what is she saying there? Because is she saying, is she referring, because she used the little G there. She's not saying even if gods are enemies. She's saying if, if our enemies are super powerful beings, you know, we must never lose sight. Hmm. I think, uh... I mean, I don't know. We must never lose sight of our goal in spite of all odds. What if what if along the way our goal becomes clouded? What if along the way we become like Lord Lenato, where we're fighting for our skewed version of justice? Do I tell Edelgard that she's taking it too far, or do I agree with her? I don't know. I do not know. Because I think it's important to stick with your guns. Hmm. Hmm. I think the question is, where do you find that absolute truth? Do you believe in the relative truth? Do you believe that your truth is the only truth? You know, you got some Khaleesi complexes here going on. It's a very, it's a very tricky message. Very tricky message. Um, hmm. I think though, for the sake of our house, for the sake of the Black Eagles and the people I want to protect, I would agree with Edelgard that we must 
stick with our goal to bring safety and peace to all of the kingdom, the empire. Sure. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I went through a lot of internal thinking before I got there. Really, I'm just like Lenato. I too will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. Really, I'm just like Lenato too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what that's what I'm saying. Are we are we like Lenato? And if that's the case, were we wrong were we wrong to punish Lenato? It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. But that's the thing. History is written by the victors. Is Lord Lenato wrong simply because he lost? Would Lord Lenato have been right had he won the battle with us? Are we simply the greater good because we won the battle? Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. What? Oh, Catherine, what are you talking about? I found this on Lord Lenato. Oh, what? It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. Oh, crap. We gotta get back to the freaking school. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. I agree, Catherine. Yeah, this is, this is not to be taken, taken lightly. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. Does she not get, like, a ton of death threats? I feel like she probably gets death threats, like, every day. Like, is this not a normal thing? Like, is this is this rare? I feel like there's probably notes like this all over the kingdom. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong? Maybe I'm wrong? Is this news to her? Should we even tell her? She's probably like, oh, duh. Of I'm course people want to kill me. You have returned safely. Yeah, for sure. The goddess is gracious with her divine protection. Mm -hmm. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I don't want to brag, but I am the highest level of our class. My students deserve the praise. I still have much to learn. Yeah, my students actually were freaking rock stars. You should have seen Casper out in the fog just shooting people in the head with bows and arrows. All of it. Arrows, I guess, I from the bows. So sure. From one bow. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. I wouldn't say they were hesitant. I just said they weren't really eager to murder people. However... We must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. Yeah, and I think that's probably the problem they're having. It just sounds a little creepy. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Yeah, I think, I I, I just don't know if that's really how you want to rule, but I, I'm not really here to object with you right now. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. Uh, yeah, the assassination attempt. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. All right, what day is that? Like a Tuesday or something? The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. I was already doing that, bro. You weren't having constant vigilance? Please. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. Oh, sure. Um, you can count on us. We won't let her down. Won't that endanger the students? You can count on us. Without a freaking doubt in my mind. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. Yeah, we're already wandering around with our weapons. Constantly ready to go. So, the don't right even worry about it. The rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the goddess. Oh, you want the goddess to come back? Okay, well, oof, you guys gotta kinda clean up your act a little bit. You're just murdering civilians right now. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the goddess tower once the ritual begins. Okay. Of course, the knights will be on high alert as well. Good. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. Yeah, that's where you got us coming in. We're it gonna be good. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. Yeah, and it hasn't really stopped you from mobilizing students in the past. You've literally sent us out on several bandit missions. You sent us out to fight Lord Lenato himself, who is the leader of the biggest rebellion in the kingdom that I've heard of thus far. I don't know why you're saying it's far from ideal. We've done it. We've been rocking it. We're probably stronger than you right now. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. For sure. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Always am. I always am. I sleep with both eyes open and a sword in my hand. Awesome. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I think that concludes this episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. If you enjoyed, be sure to click that like button. Super smash it. Um, and then click the subscribe button with the bell as well. That keeps you notified of when I post new videos each and every week here on YouTube.com slash Casrisk. This little Let's Play series we're doing. We're 10 hours in. I'm having a great time. I'm really loving the game. 
Um, I'm curious just really to see where the story's going, how it's all going to amount. Um, and, you know, this whole thing with the church, like, and and the, the, the things I kind of heard from the marketing and the game, I'm not really saying too much in the Let's Play, but I kind of have a little bit of an idea of where the story maybe zigs and zags, but I, I'm also a little bit in the dark, so I'm not too sure exactly what's going on, but I'm excited to develop these relationships more. It's pretty crazy to think that we're developing these relationships, learning these characters, having these conversations, learning how they fight on the battlefield, seeing their cool animation and their moves, all of that stuff, and yet we only are isolated to the Black Eagles right now. How cool will it be when we can start recruiting the Blue Lions and the Golden Deer and start meeting those characters as well? And then there's characters like Catherine who come in that aren't even a part of the house. There's so much to learn, so much to interact with, so much to do. All the lore, all of the conversations, the history, the people, and the ongoing plot. I'm really excited. We're only in Chapter 3. And I have to imagine there's probably 10 to 20 chapters, if not up to... I think there's like 20 plus chapters with the other previous Fire Emblem games. So we're really just scratching the butt on this thing. So I'm excited to keep on going. So be sure to tune into the future Let's Plays. Let me know that in the comment section below what you're thinking. And uh, I hope you have a good day. But until next time, bye! Yeah.